Hey, Tim Munkert here. In this video, uh, I'm going to show you how to start a React project on a Chromebook. Now, this is an example of a small React project that I created uh, perfectly, uh, works perfectly well, and I created it on a Chromebook. Uh, so you'll see it says Brewery Info here, and it's using the Open Brewery API. And what I can do is I can type in a state like Colorado, and then it just shows me Colorado, or I could do California, uh, and then shows me the ones that are from California. A lot on this list are from California. I can click on a link for you know, the particular brewery and go to their site if I want. Um, I can X this out and then it brings back. Now, the Open Brewery API doesn't have a ton of breweries on here, but it is calling the API. and um, and then using that to get the data to populate these cards. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to basically start a React project on a Chromebook. So let's open up the terminal here. And what I'm going to need to do is to install Node. Uh, you do want to have Linux installed. If you don't have that, um, I'll leave a card. Uh, should be somewhere on the screen for how to install Linux on a Chromebook. It's very easy, but that's not in the scope of this video. We do have to install Node, so I'm gonna do curl-sl uh, um, and then uh, deb.nodesource.com slash setup underscore. And then the version, uh, the stable version at this time is I believe is 16. I'll do a pipe here, sudo dash, and then, uh, E sudo dash E bash dash, I believe. Okay, and it's going to run through. Hopefully, I wrote that right. And I'll leave that command in the description below as well. And it's going to take a moment here. Okay, now at this point, you'll see it says run this command sudo apt get install dash y node js. So I'm going to run that. Okay, that's run through. And now what we can do is uh, we can just make sure that we have node installed. I'm going to do node hyphen V gives me version 16.15.0. I also want to make sure I have NPM. So I'm going to do NPM hyphen V. And I've got 8.5.5. This may be different for you at the time of this video. Again, you want to check what the latest stable version is. Okay, so what I'm going to do to create a React project, it's very simple, is run npx, not npm, but npx, uh, that's the package runner, and then create, and that comes with uh, current ver versions of Node. So I'm going to do npx create React app, I want to do a dash app, and then the name of the folder. So if I was going to create a project called Brewery Finder, I would just do brewery dash finder and hit enter. That's going to run, and uh, it's going to ask me, um, is it okay to proceed? I'm going to say yes. And it's going to go ahead and install. Okay, it's run through and installed. Um, I'm going to use Sublime, so if I want to go and CD into this folder, and then I can just open it with subl and a space and a dot, and it'll go ahead and open. And you'll see that we have the files here. I can go into the source files and uh, I can go, let's say, to the app.js here and maybe change something. Uh, say something like Tim was here uh, and do an exclamation point. I can fix my syntax here. Uh, And you know, so my highlighting is good. Um, anyway, so I can save that, and uh, then I can uh, run a server with npm run start, and here we go. It pops up, and we see that uh, you know my changes have been reflected here. Uh, you know, if I type something like no, really, I can type and save it. Then when I go back here, it should update 
in a moment uh, and you see it, it updates. So you, you can begin working on your React app. I'm probably going to do some more videos on React on my channel. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, give it a like as it will help get out to more people. Also consider subscribing as, as it really does help the channel grow. I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.